space is this way, but throw them. It's kind of diagonal. Uh, yeah. They literally actually in front of me, like, so it's not like that his head is in front of me, his feet is there, and I'm throwing him the tree. Um, he went just, just in the local throw. So he makes this way. So it's not like he's throwing that his feet is there and his um, head is here. So that is the right throw. Thank you. Okay. I know there are like still a lot of challenges. This is a this is a hard throw. It's like a very difficult throw to learn. It's not easy. It gets easy frustrated, especially the taller you are, the deeper you have to go into your knees. So it's it's really not easy. This is more for the one to like more and higher, right? They get to that. Uh, just a couple more things to highlight. Important is to keep your hands up. It's like that's the key <coughs> on that throw. Grab him in, in here and then all the way up. In order to get him up, you have to go down. There's no other way because there's no way that he can just lift him up and he's like hanging in the air and his feet is not on the ground. That's nobody's that strong, at least not uh, nobody I know. So that's the reason to get him up there, you have to bend down, right? Make sure when you do the throw that you have the right step. It's like you have to do a kusushi, your partner has to go on, on, on the toes. So now my partner is super nice, many three he knows to do pretty long. So when I just do like a little bit, he's already up on his toe before I even do something. That's really nice, that's what we want. In tournament, it looks completely different, but during practice, if you have the body language, try to just go with the little movement someone gives you. Even when I do just like a little bit of my little finger, he will go up for courtesy because he knows the drill. So kusushi is always, always important. So again, our kusushi here, up here, everything has to be at the same time. Keep in mind the hand and the foot always works together. So when I apply this, I'm stepping in. There is no perfect formula how far or how close you have to be when you're stepping in. It depends on your comfort level, on your body. So someone needs, someone who's tall might have to step a little bit further, someone who's smaller, a little bit in. Um, I have to say, I go with the feeling what works for me, where I feel comfortable. But again, knees is bent, arm is up, my kusushi is in, you have to turn, and again, my arm is still up, you cannot be on this side, so it has to be, or I also notice people doing this one, that doesn't work either. So, up, and then you can see, it's like I keep it up, and I'm pulling in here, see what time it is, my body goes and I'm throwing it. So now I'm doing it for a longer time, but the slower I go, the more difficult it is to throw any throw, because it's all about the kusushi, because the kusushi is pretty much the setup. I'm doing the kusushi, and then you have to pretty much be fast. And that's pretty much with every single throw in judo. So my recommendation is not just to like one, two, three, four, five, and throw. Try to get in. It's like, that's the reason why we do this moving or chikomi, because you want to do it in a movement. You want to pull and just throw him, because you want to get the momentum when he's moving. Okay, so the slower you are, the longer you take, the harder it is to do the throw. So again, small problems is like, I got it. I just have to practice. Big problem is I have no clue how the throw works. Any small problems? Just one small. Uh, are we locking the elbow or are we just, is there like a slight I keep it pretty much locked. locked. I have it all the way up okay. the entire time until he's on the ground. Any big problems? Good. All right, let's do the next one. So the <coughs> Tomikoshi. Um, 